Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Clobberjoss. Now, Clobberjoss is a trick taking card game uh, played by two players. Um, and you score points by winning tricks. So, Clobberjoss is actually a difficult card game uh, compared to some other card games. And so, even after watching this video, you'll still probably need to refer back to a guide um, or uh, some other material while you're playing because it is somewhat complicated. So, what you'll need is a 32 card deck, aces down to the sevens. So, you'll need the ace, the king, the queen, the jack, the ten, the nine, the eight, and the seven of each suit. You remove the 2 through 6. You'll need 2 players. Uh, and you'll need a pen and a paper for keeping score. And so let's just start out with a deal. So 6 cards are dealt to each player um, in three in sets of 3 cards. So 3 cards at a time. So it'll be 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3. 1, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6 like so. The top card of the remaining deck is flipped up and partially placed under the deck and the suit of the flipped up card is the trump suit for the round. And so let's deal. Look, notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so let's just talk about what happened here. And so you just saw that three cards were dealt. Uh, to each player at a time, with the suit of the flipped up card being the trump suit for the round. Um, and so, basically what happened there was the suit of the flipped up card, in this case the diamond here, was became the trump suit for the round, as seen with the diamond here. So, now that we have the trump suit for the card, um, let's just first talk about um, what might happen. And so you'll notice that each player has nine cards, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, but first, let's just talk about some more rules. So, we established the fact that six cards were dealt to each player, three cards at a time. And the top card of the remaining deck is then flipped up and partially placed um, under the deck. In this case, the top card was just flipped up and placed here. And it is a seven of diamonds. The suit of the flipped up card is the trump suit. In this case, diamonds are our trump suit. And the objective of the game is to be the first player to score 500 points. Points are scored by winning tricks that include cards with specific point values. Points are also scored for having the best sequence, having a Bella, and winning the last trick. So, how are cards ranked? And this is important. Um, and so you'll want to keep note of this. You'll also want to look at a Clobber Yoss guide online, um, as they have specific uh, they have the point values outlined. And so for the trump suit, the card rank from highest to lowest is the jack of the trump suit, followed by the nine, then the ace, the ten, the king, the queen, the eight, and the seven. For non-trump suits, from highest to lowest, it's ace, ten, king, queen, jack, nine, eight, seven. And for sequences, it is from highest to lowest. Ace, king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight, seven. And so that's three different sets of card ranks. And so it is quite confusing. I recommend pulling up a Clobberyos quick guide online. There are plenty. Um, if you just go and Google an image of the card ranks for Clobberyos, uh, you can easily find them. And so the player that determines the trump suit, um, in this case, it is our AI. 
Um, you notice how there was a sequence at the beginning that said pass, uh, but the AI accepted it. So that means when the Trump suit was diamond, they accepted it, making the Trump suit diamond. If they passed, then we would have the option to make the Trump suit diamond. Um, and then if we were to either say accept or pass, and then if we passed again, our opponent would then have the ability to make any suit the Trump suit. And once again, if they pass on that option, then we get the ability to make any suit Trump suit. So it goes as follows. Dealer, non-dealer has the first choice to make the flipped up card the Trump suit or the non-Trump suit. If they pass, then the dealer has the option to make the Trump suit uh, the flipped up card or not. If the dealer passes, then the non-dealer has the option to make any card the Trump suit. If the non-dealer passes, then uh, the, deal the dealer is forced to accept and make uh, any card the Trump suit. By common strategy, you only want to make the Trump suit if you have a lot of that card, a lot of that suit in your hand. So notice how it was diamonds here. If our opponent had zero diamonds, then it would not be wise for him to make that the Trump suit uh, because he wouldn't really be able to take advantage of that. You want to make the Trump suit uh, the suit uh, which you have the most of. Now, that determines the Trump suit, and we've talked about the card ranks before. That seems like a lot, and it is. Now let's get into the gameplay. The player that determines the trump suit must, it is mandatory, in this case our opponent determines the trump suit, it is mandatory for them to score more points than your opponent during the round. Um, once again, the non-dealer has the first option to make the flipped up card suit the trump suit for the round, or the non-dealer can pass, which gives the option to the dealer. If both players pass on the flipped up card suit for trump, the option to call any other suit as a trump suit is given to the non-dealer. If the non-dealer passes again, the option moves to the dealer. Once a trump suit is established, and this is why each player has 9 cards, the dealer will deal 3 more cards to each player. Notice how each player has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards. The dealer will deal 3 more cards to each player. The bottom card, right here, is also flipped up for each player to see. So the bottom card, um, I guess the next top card, it says the bottom card here um, in my script. Uh, but it, I guess the next top card would make more sense now that I think about it. So you take three more cards from here, deal them, give them to each player. The next top card, you flip it up so for both players to see. This card has no impact on the game play of the game. It just allows the players to see one more card. Um, it's just, I guess, a part of Clobberyos. Now, before any tricks are played, because Clobberyos is a trick-taking game, any player with a sequence of three or more cards in the same suit can score points for it. So notice how I have an 8, a 9, and a 10. Well, notice how I have a 9 or a 10 here. If I had an 8 or a jack of diamonds, that would be 3 cards in the same suit um, in a sequence with uh, consecutive ranks. And so I could score points for it. And so similarly, if my opponent also had 3 or more cards um, in the same suit uh, in a sequence, they would also score points for it. The player with the best sequence can score points. A sequence of 3 cards is worth 20 points. A sequence of 4 cards is worth 50 points. A sequence with more cards always beats a sequence with less cards. If two sequences have the same number of cards, the sequence uh, with a higher rank will beat the sequence with a lower rank. For example, if I had a sequence of 8, 9, 10, and my opponents had a sequence of 9, 10, Jack, 
Because remember, sequences follow the normal card ranks. My opponent would then score 20 points. I would not score any points. I would still be at 0 points. If I had a card sequence of 8, 9, 10, and my opponent had a card sequence of Ace, 2, 3, 4, even though my opponent's sequence has lower ranked cards, he has more cards in his sequence. His sequence is the best sequence. He scores 50 points. A sequence of three cards is worth 20 points. A sequence of four cards is worth 50 points. Um, a sequ uh, sequence of more cards always beats a sequence of less cards. And if two card sequences are the same length, the higher ranked sequence is the better sequence. Only the best sequence can score points, so only one player can score points via sequence in a round. The non-dealer is the first to play a card into the middle. This is the player who initiates the trick. And so, let's just talk about what happened here. Notice how it says my opponent is saying 50, and here it says good. My opponent is saying 50. What did we just outline? A sequence of four or more cards is worth 50 points. And so if my opponent is saying 50, that means he's calling out 50. He is calling out that he has a sequence of three or more, of four or more cards. Now it's my turn to respond to the sequence. If I had a sequence of four or more cards, because remember, to be a sequence, even if I had a sequence of three cards, if my opponent called out 50, I can't beat that with three cards. And so if I don't have a better sequence, I don't call it out. I would say, if I don't have a better sequence, I would say, good. If I did have a better sequence, I would say, the score of the better sequence. In this case, I would also say 50, because the only way you can be a sequence of four is with a better sequence of four. and then. Um, I would also say 50 as well, and then we'd compare our sequences. In this case, I say good. Why do I say good? This is because I do not have a sequence that can be a sequence of 4. My opponent shows me a sequence of 4. Um, in this case, um, the sequence is ace, king, queen, jack. Remember, sequences go from ace being the highest to 7 being the lowest. Ace, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. Since this is four cards in a row, ace, king, queen, jack, this is four cards in a sequence, my opponent scores 50 points, as seen to the left. I click OK. My opponent, so my opponent revealed the sequence, and now he hit it. So, once again, this is a confusing game. I apologize. Hopefully you are with me so far. Now, what do we do next? Next... A the trick must be started. The non-dealer is the first to play a card in the middle. In this case, the non-dealer is my opponent. A player must follow suit by playing a card in the same suit that was led whenever possible. Whenever possible. In this case, an 8 of diamonds was played. We can play either a 9 of diamonds or a 10 of diamonds. We must play a diamond if we have a diamond. In this case, we have a diamond, so we must play it. I'm going to play the 9 of diamonds. I know that that is higher than the 8 of diamonds. Because note that our trump suit is diamonds, and 9 is higher than 8. However, in this case, it makes more sense to play the 10 of diamonds. And you might say, hey, well, we know 9 is going to be 8, so why wouldn't you just play 9 so you could save the higher ranked 10? However. That is not the case. Before the trump suit, and diamonds are the trump suit, the ranking from highest to lowest, once again, is as follows. And this is why I advise having a ranking guide slash score image sheet with you while you are playing. For the trump suit, the ranking goes as follows. From highest to lowest, it is jack, nine, ace, ten, king. Queen, 8, 7. Notice that the 9 is higher ranked than the 10. Therefore, it makes more sense for us to play the lowest higher ranked card that would win us the suit. In this case, that is the 10 of diamonds. 
I will pay the 10 here. Notice how I took those two cards. Now let's just talk about what just happened there. There's a lot happening, and I apologize, but this is a complicated game. It is quite fun, though. So, the player must follow suit by playing a card in the same suit that was led whenever possible. The player with the higher ranking trump card will win the trick. If no trump cards are played, the player with the higher ranking card in the lead suit will win the trick. The player that wins the trick will lead the next trick. So you have to play, you have to follow suit whenever you can. Otherwise, and, and then you have to follow suit whenever you can. If you can't, you play any card. Note that the lead suit is the player who plays uh, the first card of the trick. And so if you can't follow suit, there's no way you will win the trick unless you play a trump card. Now, if no trump cards are played, the player with the higher ranking card in the lead suit will win the trick. The player that wins the trick will lead the next trick. Players continue to play tricks until all cards have been played. The player that wins the last trick is also awarded an additional 10 points. Players count the point cards from the tricks they have won. In this case, he played an 8, I played a 10 in the trump card. And so, what does that mean? I won the trick. I won the cards 8 and 10. Normally, you score at the end of the round. Um, in this case, it's a machine, so it's going for us automatically. But the card point values are as follows. A jack of Trump is 20 points. A 9 of Trump is 14 points. An ace is 11 points. A 10 won through a trick is 10 points. A king won through it. So let's just start again from the top. All these are card points won through tricks. A jack won through a trick is 20 points. Uh, oh, a trump jack won through a trick is 20 points. A trump nine won through a trick is 14 points. An ace of any suit won through a trick is 11 points. A ten of any suit won through a trick is 10 points. A king of any suit won through a trick is 4 points. A queen of any suit won through a trick is 3 points. A jack that is not a trump won through a suit is 2 points. Now, a bella uh, is 20 points, and it's when you have a king and a queen, uh, both in the uh, trump suit. Other than that, uh, the last trick also awards you 10 points. And there are a couple more rules, but let's just play um, winning tricks. And so let's just play through all the tricks in the round. And the round concludes when both players run out of cards. And so we're going to play, let's play a nine of diamonds here. He won the trick, so he scored more points. He played a queen of clovers. Remember, we must follow suit whenever we can. Notice that we can't just play a sp we can't play a jack of spade. Why? We must follow suit whenever we can. So let us follow suit. This is a trump suit, and so ace is the highest, followed by ten, then a king, queen, jack, nine, seven. I have a clover. I know I can't win this, so I'm going to play my lowest clover, which is a 7. He wins. So he played a queen of diamonds. I can't, so, and I know that diamonds are the trump suit. I can't follow the lead suit, and so I will play any card. I will play an 8 of spades. That is my lowest value card here. He played a jack of clovers. He played a king of clovers. A jack wouldn't beat that, and so I'm going to go with my lowest card. I want to lose my lowest value card whenever I can. He announced a Bella. A Bella is announced whenever you play, and so I highlighted this uh, a couple minutes earlier. A Bella is when you have a king and a queen, uh, both of the trump suit. In this case, the trump suit is a diamond, and so he has a king and a queen of diamonds. He has both of them, because they're both of the trump suit. 
A Bella is announced when you play one of the two cards in the Bella. So you either play the king of the trump suit or the queen of the trump suit. In this case, he played the king of diamonds. He played one of the two cards of the Bella. So you announce the Bella, scoring 20 additional points. If you played the queen of diamonds, likewise, he would also call out Bella, scoring 20 points. Now... Once again, we can't win this, and so I'm just going to play any card here, regardless. Um, I know that for non-Trump suits, uh, Jack is lower than 10, and so... Um, and Jack is lower than 10 and King, and so I'm just going to try to get rid of my Jack. He played a 10 of Clovers, I'm going to play... I can't win it that, and so this is unfortunate. Played a 10 of hearts, I don't have a hearts, and so I'm just going to play whatever I can. And we completely lost this round. Now, let's just talk about um, what, what will happen here. And so let's just look at the score real quick. The, he has 177. Note that, um, I'm not sure if it happened here, but the player who wins the last trick in a round also wins 10 additional points. And so just keep that in mind. So, I hope you sort of see how to play Clobberyos. Um, but there still are a, more, a couple additional rules. And so this is quite a complicated game, uh, once again. Uh, but there are some additional rules that must be followed uh, when you're playing. Uh, firstly, you must keep track of who determined the trump card. In this case, my opponent determined the trump card, right? The player who determines the trump card has an advantage because they can pick a trump card that is suited to their hand. Thus. The player who determines Trump must score more points than the non-Trump maker. If the determiner ties the non-Trump maker in points, the player who determined Trump, aka the determiner, does not score any points. If the player that determines the Trump suit scores less points than the non-Trump maker, the non-Trump maker scores his slash her points plus the determiner's points from the round. So, let's just go over uh, this right here. So, notice how my score is 10 and my opponent's is 177. Now, my opponent was the Trump determiner. And so, let's just give a quick example here. If my opponent scored less than 10 points, if, he's, if the Trump determiner determines less player than the non, less points, Okay, if the Trump determiner, my apologies, scores less points than the non-Trump maker, they do not score any points. So let's say my opponent scored 9 points, or 8 points, or 2 points. That is less than 10 points. Thus, sorry, sorry, my apologies guys. I have, I'm forgetting how to speak here. If the player that determines the Trump, aka the Trump determiner, ties the non-Trump maker in points, the de Trump determiner does not score any points. And so I have 10 points here. If my opponent, who determined Trump last round, also scored 10 points, he would not score those 10 points. He would go back down to 0 points. If the player that determines the Trump suit scores less points than the non-Trump maker, the non-Trump maker scores his slasher points plus the determiner's points from the round. And so my opponent was the determiner. If he scored less po points than the non-Trump maker, me, the non-Trump maker would get your opponent's points. So if my opponent scored 9 points, and I scored 10 points, 9 points is less than 10 points, and the round finished, well, my opponent was the Trump determiner, and he scored less points than me. Right? Because 9 is less than 10. And so, 
I would score not only my points, but my opponent's points. I would score 19 points, and my opponent would be left at 0 points. That's essentially the summary of Clarbrios, and we're going to play a couple more rounds here so you can get the hang of it. Uh, actually, we'll play to 500, because uh, this is quite a quick game. But notice how there are so many rules. There are so many rules. So let's just go over some other quick uh, summed rules. A player must follow suit, and we've already highlighted some of these before. A player must follow suit by playing a card in the same suit that was led when possible. If a player cannot follow suit, the player must play a trump card to win the trick if possible. If a player cannot follow suit or a trump, any card can be played. If a trump suited card is led, an opponent must beat the trump card played if possible. Only one sequence can be scored for during a round. A sequence must be at least three cards in a row of the same suit. The sequence with higher ranking cards wins when both players have an equal length sequence. A sequence with more cards in it beats any sequence with fewer cards in it. In the odd event that both players have a sequence of equal rank and equal length, no players score any points for the sequence because no player has the best sequence. They are simply tied. If you have the king and queen of the trump suit in your hand, it is known as a Bella. You can score 20 points by announcing Bella as you are playing the second of the two cards into a trick. And so note that our opponent last round played his king. And that was that means he played his queen of diamonds earlier. And then he played his king, the second of his two cards, into his trick. And so, as well, if you hold the seven of a trump suit, uh, you can exchange it for the flipped up card from the deal. And so if I had the seven of um, spades, I could exchange it with the queen of the spades. This must be done before playing a card into the first trick. If both players pass on making the flipped up card trump, and both players pass again to determine any trump suit, the hand is folded and is re-dealt. And so this means that you must have a trump suit at all times. If both players pass on making the flipped up card once again, and both players pass again to determine any trump suit, the hand is folded. If both players go over 500 points in the same round, right, because the first to 500 wins the game, the player with the overall higher score wins the game. In the event that both players are over 500 in the same round and they have the same score, a subsequent tiebreaker round is played and the player with the higher score at the end of the tiebreaking round wins the game. That was a lot to digest. And so let's just go through a couple more rounds here. We are the non-dealer, and so we get to determine whether we would like to make this the trump suit or not. We don't have that many spades, and so we are actually going to pass. My opponent made the spade his trump card. And so... We don't have any sequences here, right? We don't have three cards or four cards. Um, in a row of the same suit. So neither did my opponent. And so he called melds. Then I also called uh, melds as well. You can call melds or no sequence. And so no players had any sequences. So no points were scored. Note that the spade is the trump uh, card here. And so I'm actually just going to play an ace of. Um... Well let's. L I too am having to look at my guide here. And so for non-trump suits, ace is the highest rank, and so let's just play an ace of clubs. Um, an ace of diamonds, we also won. Let's play a king of diamonds. A ten is higher than a king, and so he won. A ten of clubs, um, that is quite high ranked, and the only way we could beat that is with an ace of clubs. And so we are gonna, just going to play our lowest clubs card. A ten of hearts, uh, the only way we could beat that is with a, well, we only have one hearts card anyway. So my opponent does know what he's doing. He does know what he's doing. The 9 of the trump suit uh, beats the 10 of the trump suit. And so we actually win this hand right here. I'm going to play with uh, the king of the non-trump suit. He played the trump. 
And so he is going to end up winning this round as well. And so my AI is better than me at Clarbrios. He passes. He was a non-dealer, right? The non-dealer switches every round. And he gets the first pick on whether or not that he wants to make the flipped up card the Trump suit. I don't have many spades, and so I'm actually going to pass as well. He picks... He Once both players pass, he can pick any um card to be the trump suit in this case we look we don't have any sequences so we are going to say equal when he says no sequences he played an eight of diamonds um what are our diamond cards well we can play a jack of diamonds that's higher rank right um and so that's what exactly what we're going to do winning the trick um we are now going to play a seven of diamonds he played an ace of diamonds winning the trick he played a nine of spades. We have to follow suit whenever we can. Spades is not the trump, and so for non-trump suits, um, the king is higher. We're going to play the queen of diamonds here. See if we can win. He played the king of diamonds, and so he was smart there. Um, he played an eight of hearts. Hearts are the trump suit. The only way you could beat an eight of hearts um, is with a queen of hearts, and so I'm actually going to do that, winning the suit there. I'm now going to play an Ace of Hearts. Yes. He actually won that uh, by playing a Nine of Hearts. And so that was bad gameplay. Notice how I am quite bad at this. I have not had much practice. And this is quite a hard game to master. And so our opponent is... Notice how he scored an additional 10 points there for winning the last trick. And so hopefully we can wrap up the game here. Um, we're actually going to take this because we do have two spades. So I'm fine with it. Um, we don't have any sequence here. And so we also pass. Um, we're going to start out by making the uh, Ace of Clubs. And he called out a sequence there of three cards in a row of the same suit. And he so he will score 20 points. Sequences must be called out at the start of the round. I won that trick. Um, now I'm going to play a uh, king of clubs here. He played a queen of spades. So he played a seven of hearts. Um, a nine of hearts is higher. And so I will win this trick. Um, Let's go with a Jack of Hearts. He played a Queen of Hearts there. He played a Jack of Diamonds. A King of Diamonds should beat that. And so that's fine. Um, and note that I have not highlighted any real strategy um, as to how to... Um, I must follow suit when I can, right? I have not highlighted any real strategy um, as to how to play. Um, I've simply merely uh, shown the rules and shown the basic gameplay. And so that's a diamond. Uh, we don't have many diamonds, so we're going to pass. He passes. Now, we get to pick what we want the suit to be. We have many hearts, and so I will pick hearts. We have um, a sequence of three here, right? So we're going to say equal. He's going to say nine. So notice what we just did there. He said he had a sequence. He called out 20. We also called out 20. We then asked him how high. We asked this, and he said nine. When you ask, someone asks you how high, it's when you both have a sequence of the same length. Because then the tiebreaker is the ranking of the cards. When someone asks you how high, you say the value of your highest card in the sequence. He said his highest card in the sequence was nine. Note that sequences go from ace being the highest uh, down to seven being the lowest. With king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight in between. He said, when we said how high, he said nine. 
That means high, 9 is his highest card in the sequence. That means his sequence is 9, 8, 7. Conce uh, on the other hand, our sequence, our highest card is Jack. And so we have a higher sequence, therefore we scored the 20 points. Notice that he played a diamond. And so we must play a diamond whenever we can. In this case, we'll play a 10 of diamond. For any 10, you score 10 points. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to play the Jack of the Trump. Because that always wins. He does not have um, any trump cards, and so that's good for us. We're going to play the King of Diamond, and we win this suit as well. Now we're going to play the Jack of Clovers. He won. That's fine. He played the Eight of Clovers. We're going to play the Ten of Clovers, winning this suit. And now we're going to play the Ten of Spades. He won that with the Ace of Spades. He played the Seven of Spades. We'll win with the Nine of Spades. And now we know that we have trump cards, and so we could e pretty easily win these. Because at the beginning, when we played a trump card, he did not play. He did not follow suit. So we know that he does not have any trump cards. And so we won the round. This is an ace of spades. We have no spades. It is foolish for us to choose that as a trump card. He passed. Now what we are what are we gonna choose? We have four diamonds, and so we're gonna make the diamonds our trump card. That is extremely beneficial for us. Um and so he melded and he said um melding is basically telling the other person to say if they have any sequences or not. We said we didn't have any sequences. He said he is the same, and so no points were scored on sequences. Um the trump suit is diamonds and so uh, what we'll do is we'll actually play a seven here so he won that with his king played a seven of hearts there we have a higher value card we have a ten of hearts play the seven of clubs here you play the king of clubs play the eight of clovers we'll play the jack of clovers now I'll play the seven of uh, diamonds, king of diamonds. Uh, we don't have a heart, and so we're going to play our lowest value trump card here, because we know that a trump suit will win regardless. Our lowest value trump suit is um, a queen, king, a ten. It's a ten. So we're going to do that, and we're going to win. Now we'll play our, we want to save our trump suits as much as we can. He played a queen. Uh, we know that we can beat that with an ace. And so we're going to play that. And we're also going to play our jack of trump. And we won. We scored 70 points there. And so hopefully just by sort of seeing me play, uh, you can sort of understand how to play Clabrios. However, we will go through a bit of a, a refresh of the rules. After this uh, sequence is finished, so the King of Clovers is the top left of card. We do have Clovers, and so we will take that as the trump suit. Uh, he said 20. We'll say good, because we can't respond. We don't have a sequence. And so it's actually bad when other people have sequences. Um, so let's just start out with a jack here. Winning that. Um, Start out with a king here of hearts. He won. Start out with eight of diamonds. We can beat that with a nine of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. He played a ten of clovers. Played a trump suit. Um, we'll play the ace. Winning that. Play the seven of uh, spades there. He played the king of spades. We'll play the queen of clovers. And then we'll just play the king of diamonds here because that's our last card and so he scored above and so he scored above 580 and he won i mean above 500 and he won and so let's just give a quick rundown of the rules of clobber yoss again um you need a 32 card deck with the aces down to the sevens so the twos to the sixes are removed you need two players and you need a pen and a paper for a keeping score Six cards are dealt to each player in sets of three cards. The top card of the remaining deck is flipped up and partially placed under the deck. 
The suit of the flipped up card is the trump suit for the round. The objective of the game is to be the first player to score 500 points. Points are scored through winning tricks that include cards with point values. Points are also scored for having the best sequence, having a Bella, and winning the last trick. Cards are ranked from highest to lowest in the trump suit as follows. Jack, 9, Ace, 10, King, Queen, 8, 7. Cards are ranked uh, from highest to lowest in the non-trump suit as followed. As follows. Ace, 10, King, Queen, Jack, 9, 8, 7. Cards are ranked from highest to lowest uh, in sequences as follows. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. The player that determines the trump suit must score more points than his opponent during the round. The non-dealer has a first option to make the flipped up card suit the trump suit for the round, or the non-dealer can pass, which gives the option to the dealer. If both players pass on the flipped up card suit for trump, the option to call any other suit as a trump suit is given to the non-dealer. If the non-dealer passes again, the option moves to the dealer. Once a trump suit is established, the dealer will deal three more cards to each player. The bottom card is also flipped up for each player to see. This card has no impact on the gameplay, and honestly, this is just a formality. Um, I guess it is a card that you know will be dealt in the next hand. Before the tricks are played, any player with a sequence of three or more cards in the same suit can score points for it. Only the player with the best sequence will score points for it. A sequence of four or more cards is worth 50 points. A sequence of three cards is worth 20 points. The non-dealer is the first to play a card into the middle. A player must follow suit by playing a card in the same suit that was led whenever possible. The player with the higher ranking trump card will win the trick. If no trump cards are played, the player with the higher ranking card in the lead suit will win the trick. The player that wins the trick will lead the next trick. Players continue to play tricks until all cards have been played. The player that wins the last trick is awarded 10 points. At the end of the round, players will count the point cards from the tricks won. In this scenario, we had a machine playing, and so it calculated the points for us as we played. The card point values are as follows. A jack from the trump suit is worth 20 points. So uh, these are card point values from uh, cards scored in a trick. So from a jack from the trump suit scored in a trick, it is 20 points. A 9 of the trump suit scored in a trick is 14 points. A ace of the trump suit, uh, an ace of any suit, uh, sorry, scored in a trick is 11 points. A 10 of any suit scored in a trick is 10 points. A king of any suit scored in a trick is 4 points. A queen of any suit scored in a trick is 3 points. And a jack that is not a trump jack scored in a trick is 2 points. If you have four or more cards in a sequence, that is 50 points. If you have three cards in a sequence, that is 20 points. If you have a Bella, that is 20 points. And if you have the last trick, that is 10 points. If the player that determines the trump ties the non-trump maker in points, the determiner does not score any points. If the player that determines the trump suit scores less points than the non-trump maker, the non-trump maker scores his slash her points plus the determiner's points from the round. A player must follow suit by playing a card in the same suit that was led when possible. If a player cannot follow suit, a player must play a trump card to win the trick if possible. If a player cannot follow suit or a trump, any card can be played. If a trump suited card is led, an opponent must beat the trump card played if possible. Only one sequence can be scored for during a round. A sequence must be at least three cards in a row of the same suit. The sequence with higher ranking cards wins when both players have an equal length sequence. A sequence with more cards in it beats any sequence with fewer cards in it. If both sequences have the same number of cards and the same ranking cards, no players score any points. If you have the king and the queen of the trump suit in your hand, it is known as a Bella. You can score 20 points by announcing Bella as you are playing the second of the two cards into a trick. If you hold a seven of trumps, you can exchange it from the flipped up card from the deal. This must be done before playing a card on the first trick. If both players pass on making the flipped up card trump, and both pass again to determine any trump suit, the hand is folded and the deal is re-dealt. If both players go over 500 points in the same round, 
The player with the overall higher number of points, past 500, wins the game. If both players go over 500 points in the same round and end up with a tied score, a tiebreaker round is played to determine the winner. The winner is a player with the higher number of points at the end of the tiebreaker round. This wraps up how to play Clarbrios. It's quite complicated. Uh, but thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy.